Welcome to my videos. So guys, uh, today in this video, I'm going to share my experience about uh, finding a tenant here in Ontario. So this is just my experience. And if you take any out of this video, do it at your own risk. So guys, it was a very tedious job. I had posted the ad for my legal basement on uh, Facebook and Kajiji. And to be honest, guys, like the number of responses clearly shows that um, we are in a housing crisis okay there is too many like more than uh, 200 i got honestly of course you're not gonna show your basement to everyone and you're gonna do a lot of screening before you decide to uh, go ahead with someone okay so like <laughs> like so many things i have uh observed some of them may sound funny let me tell you one of the incidents and then i'll tell you more in one incident somebody came and uh, of course after i asked all the questions i asked for i saw their car that was so expensive that that guy is pays more than 1200 dollars a month to pay for the cars for default uh, mortgage or installment whatever car payment yeah pays and then multiple hundred dollars towards the insurance okay now the same guy was trying really hard to bargain on my basement for just 200 dollars a month i told that guy look what what are you doing you are ready to live in a basement but drive such an expensive car why don't you just sell your car get something cheap and then instead of look living at a basement live at a, at an apartment or at a condo rent a condo or something like if you combine uh, the amount he has been spending now and in that situation you'll still sp uh, spend the same and you'll be having a very good life with a lot of facilities that i cannot even imagine at my home right so that guy really laughed another thing i observed like although i had clearly written in my ad that i need one year lease a lot of them were uh, trying to negotiate on it like six months lease month to month lease i had clearly written that uh, one third of utilities but many were demanding okay uh, we pay you the rent but include utilities something something like i was just really couldn't believe that such things may happen after uh, even after putting everything uh, in the ad and uh, when the messages were exchanged they had agreed but still at the last moment they were trying to negotiate then they were also try there were also people who were asking for more benefits like okay you give us some mattress you give us some tables utensils my response was, I myself do not have that. How can I give it to you? <laughs> that also had happened. Honestly, guys, it's not a simple job. Then sometimes you deal with a situation. In fact, multiple times I dealt. Like you exchange all the messages, phone number, everything. And even a scheduling has been scheduled. And they don't show up this has happened multiple times it has happened and it is really very frustrating and irritating like you should adjust your timing you are just waiting for them and they just don't care they just don't even respond in my opinion this is really bad look everyone has their own life their own problems their own challenges no doubt about it so if you are in a situation due to whatever reason that you cannot show up at a at the meeting the best thing is to inform that I cannot come. You don't, you may not even not need to give the full reason. Maybe uh, stuck in something or something personal. That's all. But at least inform so that someone who's waiting for you doesn't uh, uh, sit and wait for you uh, and then you don't show up. It had happened to me multiple times, but be ready for it. It has happened. Now I will tell you a very funny incident like uh, these bargaining negotiations. These happen all the time. There are many f funny things too. Like I clearly wrote in my ad one guy. They came and said, 
can you give us two cars I'll, i can pay you extra i said sorry i can just do one car in one case somebody was even high and was arguing with me that had also happened to me so and like it's really hectic job now the funniest part i would tell you before i end the video these things all of you can imagine but let me tell you so there was a group a girl and two uh, boys they came girl said like well, one was her uh, boyfriend and her boyfriend's friend i don't care like who lives as long as they uh, have uh, satisfy my criteria and other things are fine so they saw the how they went and same day they responded that they are ready to take and they wanted to come and give me cash for the last month deposit my response was no that's not how it's going to happen i need to do full verification i need to do everything in check then i can do beats your id job everything okay so i initiated single key i i told them that this is going to be done through single key so don't worry about it i'm going to pay for it you are just going to get the email and you need to follow the link and provide your consent and documents and other information so i got their email ids and i uh, initiated the verification they got three days later when everyone had opened that email they got none of them had actually submitted Three days later, they sent me a message. How long is the lease for? I said one year. That you had said. They said no. We want for six months. I said I knew why they were doing. Probably they knew something will be caught in that third party verification. So they said. So I I said okay, fine. Uh, you don't have to come here then. It's like I am doing for one year. And uh, and they left. I cancelled the single key verification and things. Like, uh, I I cancel the single key verification and uh, that's it. I was not charged for any money. Finally, I have uh, after doing all the verifications, everything, I have finalized a couple. They are gonna join soon. So I'll be sharing my experience with you uh, while I will protect their privacy and information. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Please subscribe to the channel. Thank you.